Investing in a solar project for your commercial property is a long-term sustainable solution. It's important to understand all of the different financing options available to you when considering how solar fits into your budget. By the end of this video, you'll know the differences between two of the most common financing structures, a cash purchase and a power purchase agreement, so you can decide what works best for you. Welcome back everyone. I'm Eric and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy. In this channel, we'll cover everything that you need to know about solar energy, commercial solar, and community solar. If you are a facility manager for a commercial building and plan on switching to solar, you're probably considering your financing options. No matter what, you're likely to save money and help build a healthier planet, so it just comes down to how you pay for it. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos on clean solar energy, policies, and community solar. First up, what is a cash purchase? A cash purchase is the most traditional way to finance a solar system. That means directly purchasing your solar system up front to own the array. Something that might come as a surprise is that cash purchases have lucrative financial benefits like tax credits, depreciation, incentives, and rebates. Making a cash purchase is the best option if you want to take advantage of all the federal and state solar incentives available to you. One of the juiciest tax incentives is the Federal Investment Tax Credit. With this credit, system owners can secure a 26% reduction in their tax liability based on the total project cost for projects that start before the end of 2022. If you want to learn more about each financial incentive, watch our other video linked in the description below. Overall, the advantage of a cash deal is similar to any other major expense. You typically save more money over the lifetime of the system's operation and your payback time is shorter. But if your company does not have the budget to directly purchase the solar system up front, or if you're unable to take advantage of the credits or incentives from the system, then a power purchase agreement or PPA may be a better option. A power purchase agreement is what we call a third party ownership model and one of the most common financing options for solar. Here's how it works. Your company enters a long-term agreement, typically 15 to 20 years, with a solar developer like Pivot Energy. The developer owns and maintains all of the solar equipment on your facility and you pay a predetermined dollar per kilowatt hour rate for the electricity produced by the solar energy system throughout the term. In addition to installing solar without paying significant upfront costs, the third party owner manages all ongoing operation and maintenance for the array. That's a major plus. But there are some factors to consider before entering into a PPA. Since your company won't have direct ownership of the system, the solar developer claims all of the benefits and incentives available for installing solar. In addition, it is typical for a third party owner to require credit approval for their customers, as well as limiting their exposure to on site conditions like roof age and the expense to remove and reinstall panels for a re roof. These are all details that we discuss with our clients to find a clear path forward. Overall, a PPA is a great way to take advantage of solar without significant upfront cost or operational risk. You save money in the form of a lower electricity rate, which provides savings from the day the system starts producing energy. In addition, the rates within the PPA are typically fixed throughout the term of the agreement, which provides you a great hedge against the ever rising cost of electricity. So you might be asking yourself, which option is right for me? A PPA might not be right for you if you're a company with an extremely low cost of capital or a desire to earn incentives such as rebates and tax credits. On the other hand, public institutions like schools and nonprofits that don't have a tax liability might benefit from a PPA because it allows them to monetize the credits in the form of a lower PPA rate from the developer. We have worked with plenty of clients who have the funds to invest and have made a cash purchase, but we have also worked with clients that preferred to enter a PPA. Either way, you will still install the same solar project, save money, and contribute to a cleaner, healthier planet. So if you're trying to figure out the best financing option for your commercial facility to switch to solar energy, we're here to help. At Pivot Energy, we offer a free analysis in which we prepare an initial design of a system for your facility, outline different financing options, and then summarize the financial returns of those options. We include federal and local incentive programs as part of this analysis that help reduce your cost. Based on what's the best fit for you, we can then provide you with the turnkey services to bring your project to reality. To learn more about Pivot Energy as a company and what we do, you can watch our other video in the description below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and learned about the differences between a cash purchase and a PPA. Give our video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you're notified when we post new videos. Each week we post videos on the basics of solar energy, solar energy for your business, community solar, and of course, all the ways you can save money with solar, solar incentives, and the ever-changing solar policies. We'll see you next time.